Hello guys, like many others I experienced a lot of change in my life this year. What didn't change is my passion for doing experiments even though there were not as many videos in comparison to other years. In the end I want to show some footage that didn't make it into a video. In this graduated cylinder are dinitrogen monoxide, carbon disulfide and water. When these are mixed well and the ratio is right, the famous barking dog reaction should be happening when it is lit. I only tried this experiment twice for fun, so I didn't get the ratio right. But I still like this shot and I will surely come back to this experiment one day. This is the flame color of indium, which is named after its indigo blue color. Someday I want to make a video about flame colors of elements other than the alkali and earth alkali metals. When a laser is pointed at a hanging water droplet, the droplet acts as a lens and magnifies dust and little organisms living in it. Depending on the intensity of the laser, the image can be as big as a wall. In this case, water from a pond was used. This glass tube was closed with two pieces of cotton, of which one was soaked with ammonia and the other one with hydrochloric acid. When the released gases meet, they react to form ammonium chloride. Hydrogen chloride is heavier than ammonia and the reaction produces heat, which causes the movement of the smoke. The tube was also slightly tilted, so the cloud moved to the right, which was a bit higher than the left. The heavy hydrogen chloride drops to the bottom and moves to the left, while the less dense ammonia moves up and to the right. More ammonium chloride is formed where the gases meet. I have been given a quartz glass crucible, so I had to test one property of quartz glass. It has a coefficient of thermal expansion, which is only one sixth of the value of usual borosilicate glass from the lab. This means it can withstand a very high difference in temperature. A usual beaker would definitely break in this case. This year I worked a lot with alkali metals, so I wanted to get a shot of potassium reacting with water at 100 frames per second. The piece might have been too large and it had a thick layer of the superoxide on it, which might be the reason why it reacted so violently. Another example for the coefficient of thermal expansion is this porcelain dish with potassium being heated too quickly in one area. This test tube contains a mixture of cesium chloride, sodium and possibly cesium. The idea is based on a video from Thunderfoot, for which I'll put a link in the description. I didn't expect the test tube to stick together after it cracked, but I had the hope that I could be wrong. The result of this expensive experiment was this interesting shot. The sodium and maybe traces of cesium burn in the air, while the sodium also possibly reacts with the glass to form silicon. This were a few outtakes and my last video for this year. A big thanks to my Patreons and to all of you watching my videos. I'm wishing everyone happy holidays and a good start into 2021. I'll see you in the comment section.